tonight at the Saturn Awards celebrating everything in sci-fi, fantasy, and horror. And I'm curious, as an actress, are there things about these genres that really intrigue you about performing, whether it be different tools that they give you as an actress to kind of perform in a creative sandbox? I, I think that what I love about working in the genre is, to me, part of being an artist is suspension of disbelief. I don't want to create a character just like myself in real life. You know, I want to I want to take my body and use it as an empty vessel for creating something really interesting interesting and unique. When you're dealing with a sci-fi genre type material, you are, you're taking life's normal circumstances and throwing them out the window. And so in some ways, it's really freeing as an artist to work under those pretenses. So that's probably what draws me to the genre. Well, and I have to ask, you just directed uh, a film. I'd love to hear more about it, uh, the, the premise, and also when we can see more of it. Absolutely. I just wrapped my directorial debut for a feature film. It's called Joyrider. It's a documentary and basically it follows the story of Andre Kylik. He's a double amputee, lost his legs in an accident um, in 2003 and since has gotten into ultra hand cycling, these ultra endurance events and rode his bike in a race called Ram from Oceanside, California to Annapolis, Maryland in 12 days. First set world records, race records, first hand cyclist to ever attempt it, first hand cyclist to complete it as a soloist and it's it's just amazing. The film is called Joyrider, okay. and I'm hoping to premiere it early 2018. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And you, you've acted in many genres. You have, you're now directing. Are there, if given the opportunity, different genres or different roles, whether in front of or behind the camera, that you would like to try? I mean, I think I'm definitely going to continue along the directing path. I had a really positive experience, and Joyrider, I partnered with Greg Grumberg, who you will know as, well, he's in the Star Wars and the Star Trek and Alias and Heroes, but he also played my husband or my love interest in Big Ass Spider. So I partnered with him. I had a really great experience with his production company, Bandwagon. Um, and I will definitely continue, hopefully, to create a symbiotic relationship with them and continue producing documentaries and directing, as well as acting. Good. Yeah. Well, we're very much looking forward to Joy Reiner, and thank you so much for chatting with us. Hey, thanks so much. Yeah, thank you guys. Thank you.